Well, Sean, we might get a little winter in uh, yet. We yeah. may, and it's not going to last that long. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are worried about getting from A to B, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not going to be that big of a deal. But it's the biggest deal we've had so far this yep. winter. Yeah, uh, about one to three inches <laughs> is what we're talking. Let's take a look outside. Actually, another nice day today. This is a live view from the MnDOT camera over at uh, Minnesota Highway 22 near Madison Avenue. And it is still way above average for this time of year. 35 the temperature, the wind out of the northeast at 5. And it's going to be even warmer tomorrow. And that's why we're going to start this system with rain. And then as temperatures drop, it's eventually going to change to snow. 35 Mankato, Wasika, Owatonna, 32. Twin Cities at 33. Redwood Falls, 34. St. James, our temperature also at 34. And you can kind of see a little bit of a few blips, a few flurries, a couple of little sprinkles here on the radar. This is ahead of the system that's going to be moving in. We actually have a warm front here that's pushing eastward and there's a little lift in the air and that gives us just a few sprinkles there. But this cold front's going to kick through. This low is going to help bring in some moisture. We're going to start with rain and eventually that rain is going to change to snow that will continue through tomorrow night. After that, another punch of even colder air is going to actually knock our temperatures down to around or even a little below average for the first time in a long time by later this week. Tomorrow we'll actually start with a little sunshine at 8 a.m. at 31 degrees. We'll get into the 40s. I think to around 42 at some point early afternoon and then rain will change to snow by mid to late afternoon. Overall, we are looking at about one to three inches of accumulation. There could be a couple pockets of heavier snow here in this blue area, uh, basically along maybe a little south of Minnesota Highway 19, two to four, maybe even a little more out by Marshall Slayton, parts of Murray, Pipestone, Lyon County, even out into uh, Lincoln County. So that's an area we're going to watch for perhaps a little more snow that comes in with this system. But there is a winter weather advisory. Wyndham, New Ulm, North Mankato, Belle Plaine, all included here. And these are the areas where we are more likely to see some pockets. Not everyone's going to get that much snow, but there could be a couple of pockets of that uh, three to four inch snow here by the time everything winds down. Now, let's talk about the timing. As we make our way into tomorrow morning, this is 9 o'clock on Wednesday morning. We're going to start to see the snow moving in to western parts of Minnesota. I think sometime between 9 and noon is when we're going to start to see a little light rain from Redwood Falls to New Ulm, Mankato, some rain. Probably by midday, at least a few light sprinkles, and then that will continue into the afternoon. Here we are at 3 o'clock. Now, one of the big factors that will determine how much snow we ultimately get is when the rain changes to snow. If it happens earlier, we could be toward the top end of that one to three inch range. If we don't see that changeover happen until maybe five, six, seven o'clock, we'll be closer to the low end of the range. But I think late afternoon we'll see that change and then snow will continue. Here we are at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, nine o'clock on Wednesday evening, and then we're going to continue to see that snow through midnight, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. And then after that, everything winds down and moves out. There will be some impact to travel tomorrow afternoon for the commute. Thursday morning especially, even though the snow will be done falling, there will be leftovers and it will be slippery on Thursday morning. So keep that in mind and plan on taking some extra time. 29, mostly cloudy tonight. Tomorrow, a little sun first thing in the morning. 42 for a high, but temperatures will drop by mid to late afternoon with snow likely late afternoon through tomorrow night. We actually have another system that's going to bring a chance of snow on Friday morning. We'll get into that a little more once this first system gets out of the way because actually the first system Kind of how that works is that what happens with this first one will impact how the second one kind of acts. It's kind of a ripple effect there. And then after that, gradually warming into the weekend and back to the 40s and dry through most of next week, Stacey and Dion. So a very quick little hit of winter, but mm -hmm. I think we're going to get a little here. Could be interesting for Valentine's Day evening, too. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Enjoy it while you can. Make a snowman for Valentine's Day. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Sean. We'll be right back with sports. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.